Okay, so this video is going to be a bit different to our normal style of videos as I am going to be doing a cover shoot for a magazine with a feature article and images to go with that. So this video is going to be a behind the scenes on that very photo shoot. Yeah, so obviously I've done some photo shoots before for magazine covers and obviously had tons of photos taken as an athlete of me doing swim, bike and run. But this shoot is very different. It is for the Red Bulletin magazine where I'm going to be featured on the cover. The topic of the photo shoot is definitely female physicality, so showing what the human body can look like with a dedicated athlete to training. My body definitely looks the way it does because I train about 30 hours a week, dedicate myself to my sport, so as a result of me training for these big lofty goals that I have in triathlon, the byproduct of that is how my body looks. I don't do my training to look a certain way, that's not what I do. So yeah, as a byproduct of my training, my body is ready to do the shoot. It is female physicality, my body is athletic, and it is my machine for my sport. So I haven't got to do anything different. However, there's some things that I've wanted to do to go above and beyond, so I obviously look my best in this shoot. I've had my nails done by a good friend of mine called Belle. I like that for potentially the base colour. Yeah. Then, yeah, maybe this navy at the bottom. Yeah, with white. And then like a white at the top. Yeah. There we go. Lovely. Oh, they're, they're perfect. Really oh, nice. Oh, good. I'm a lot of extraordinary skin. So they're looking well. Shall I explain what happened? <laughs> they were looking amazing. I had these done on Monday, it's now Thursday. Who knew that swimming was such an extreme sport? I've managed to have two incidents with a lame rope and I've already broke two nails. Um, so I'll be going back to see Belle on Saturday to get those fixed. She's also going to be doing a spray tan for me. I did actually have quite a good tan when I went on my training camp. I'm not someone who lies in the sun and tries to get a tan either because I'm really aware of the aging process that the sun has on skin so I don't want to spend hours in the sun getting a tan. However I did have a nice bit of colour but since I've come home and swam in chlorine daily that has just bleached the colour off of my skin so I will be treating myself to a spray tan before the shoot. Okay so just had my spray tan done and I really wish I'd done a before and after but obviously I feel like you can tell that I just look far more bronze and glowing now. Fingers crossed I don't manage to ruin it between now and having a shower in about three hours time. But yeah, already super happy with the result. I feel like I'm gonna be nice and bronzed for the shoot in two days time. So yeah, very happy. 
I also have had my hair done this week. If any of you watched a previous video of ours, I was on a training camp in Lanzarote, I had some kind of disasters with hair dyeing myself. So my hairdresser has now fixed my hair, ready for the shoot. I've got me through the roof. I've been living each day just like it's deja vu. Victoria Pendleton did some nude shots with a bike. I thought about the idea of doing it with a bike and I really didn't like what I saw, but that's because I've seen some athletes do it and most of them are male athletes, so I don't want to look like a male athlete on a bike. But Victoria Pendleton did some and they actually come out really nice, like her with a bike wheel, which is actually quite quite nice, like from the back. And then she also did one like, it's quite blurry, but that actually works. What's your aim for today? Um, pretty much to get back to more like the blondie colour more at the end. Yeah. Um, it's actually probably even lighter than it was before. I was going to say it looks lighter. And it, you haven't got any of the sort of low lights going through this yeah. either, have so you? So I probably would like some of the low lights back just yeah. so it looks more natural. Yeah. Um, no problem. Blend it a bit more. Okay. I that's hadn't fine. actually realised it grown that much, so at least we've You've got, got a bit of regrowth there to, to deal with. with. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So I'm really fortunate that I have an amazing partnership with a company called CJ Skin Health. I've been working with them for a number of years. They produce skincare products specifically for athletes. So we put our skin through a massive toll, sweating, dryness, chlorine, wind burn, sun, all of that is a toll on our skin. So I've been working with them for a number of years to help improve my skin. So I had an appointment with the lovely Elaine from CJ Skin Health about a week ago um, to get my skin ready for the shoot. So it's healing up really nicely from that appointment and I use their products daily as well. So we can include that in the description below if you're interested in looking at those products. That's pretty much it apart from just, I'm eating well, I'm hydrated and just feeling like I'm healthy, ready to go into the shoot. I don't think I'm doing anything else specific other than that. Didn't care for one another. The day of the shoot, we headed into London where we had a small little studio, which from the outside looked really unassuming, but actually once we were inside, it was a really cool location. We'd hired out a whole studio just for me to do the shoot. So once we got there, I got to meet with the team, obviously the main person being Rick Guest, who was the photographer, who was absolutely amazing. His resume of athletes and people that he's worked with is just so extensive. Some of them being my absolute heroes, like the likes of Michael Phelps, Rebecca Adlington, obviously being an ex swimmer. I think he's even worked with Adam Peaty as well. So the list just goes on of the people that he's worked with, but he was just so welcoming, instantly made me feel at ease. Talked me through the shoot with the rest of the team, so just discussed uh, what we were going to do, what the day was going to look like. And once we'd had that meeting, I pretty much headed straight into hair and makeup to get glammed up with the glam team. I'm a slick little egg. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've got all the swim costumes, which look amazing. I think I'll be looking at some of them to purchase. <laughs> but yeah, it should be really cool. We started off the shoot with some race suit shots, so I actually put on my race suit. I did some shots where it was almost like I was winning a race and what that kind of emotion would look like. 
we pulled out a crash mat. I got to kind of do some diving onto that in my race suit. Then we brought the bike in, had me on the bike, and then I would do some run shots. And then after lunch, we really got into like the fun stuff, which I was more excited about. So there was like a whole rail of swimwear where I was like, yeah, I want that, I want that, I want that. But I would have been happy to wear any of it. It was so cool. Yeah, I love that side of things because as much as I am an athlete, I also am quite into fashion and like wearing different things. But I do have kind of quite an expensive taste and I do like some designer things. So it was nice to kind of explore that avenue and really just do some different shots. So actually running, again, diving onto the crash mat, just kind of trying to bring in the sporty, but also like the high fashion type mix. So I really did enjoy doing that. There was one swimsuit which Red Bull actually gifted to me at the end of the day which the back was like really crisscross and it was so nice and I have actually worn that a couple of times but it's just like really up my street. So as much as I hate to admit it, growing up I was a little bit obsessed with America's Next Top Model and Britain's Next Top Model so I definitely enjoyed the experience. It's obviously something completely different um, so it was quite exciting to get to do that. As an athlete we're used to kind of the less so glamorous side of things, just sweating, being tired, not getting glamorous up so it's quite nice to do every now and again. Rick was just amazing to work with, just made me feel completely comfortable. I think he was able to get the best out of me on the day and I'll definitely enjoy doing more things like this in the future. Okay so here is the finished magazine of the October edition of Red Bulletin. So cool to finally see it in the flesh. I love the article inside. I love all of the images. The article itself is a little bit of how I got into the sport. It tells quite a lot about my mentality, how I've been striving to win a world title. This actually timed perfectly. It literally came out the week that I won my world title in St George. So yeah, it talks about how I've gone about trying to win world titles, what my training looks like, what my team around me looks like and the history of my time mostly in triathlon but a little bit of my background before that so you'll find out a bit more about me but hopefully it'll be inspiring as well. The magazine itself is available online, it also should be at most good news agents in the UK so something like a big WH Smith should stock it. I know you could find it in London, just being given out free. It is on the Eurostar train. It should be available in good bookstores in the US. I wasn't actually able to find it in the US when I was there though, so happy hunting if you're in the US looking for it. But yeah, just keep your eyes peeled. It's a great article. I'm obviously really happy to actually have my own copy here. Go online if you can't find a real version or a hard copy anywhere. So I just did the... London Marathon today. Um, first time ever completing it, just went under 2.48, um, which was pretty good. I kind of just slowed down on the second half to enjoy it because I wanted to make sure that I actually finished. And now we've come to Covent Garden just to see my poster in the window from the Red Bulletin edition, which is pretty cool. So as part of this video we're going to do a bit of a giveaway and for that we are obviously coming to the end of the race season this year so we need some ideas for future videos so if you comment below what you would love us to make in our next video or one of our next videos our two favorite suggestions 
we are gonna send a signed copy of the Red Bulletin to those two people and make the video that you suggest as well. So it's a double prize. So yeah, make sure to comment below what you would like us to do in one of our next videos. As always, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed getting a bit of a behind the scenes tour of the photo shoot for Red Bulletin. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos coming soon. is athletic. Oh, I just kicked my stuff on the floor. <laughs> In their sleep.